Ooh. Ooh. I want to be sexy hot. <laughs> Come on out, Kristen. Ooh, whoa, those are cool. Oh. <laughs> it's every plus size person's nightmare. You travel to a fabulous location, but your suitcase gets lost along the way. Oh, just go and buy new clothes, your thinner friends might say, because they don't know that if you're above a certain size, your chances of finding clothes that fit are small. Well, I'm about to turn the nightmare into a dream come true. I'm gonna visit eight cities with just the clothes I'm wearing. Then I'm gonna try and find a day look and a night look to explore the city. Will I be too nude to leave the hotel? Woo! It's the Empty Suitcase Show, and we're about to find out. Look who I found. Are you finally here? Are you I finally am, joining me? I finally made it, guys. It is uh, 6.30 in the morning in Los Angeles, and we are also feeling loose. Are you ready to go to Washington, D.C.? Yeah. How cold is it? Let's find out. It's actually not cold at all. This is what fall should be. Welcome to our Sonder. Oop. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well Ow. <laughs> We're here. This Welcome to, to our Sonder. <laughs> Look at our living room. And then also the bedrooms and the Whoa. piece de resistance, which is French for cool thing. The boop boop a doop boop 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 view. It's cold water. It's really cold outside. <laughs> Frozen jazz hands! It's a futon. It's a futon. <laughs> Jen, obviously you've gone shopping with me before. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, how hard do you think it is to plus size shop here in Washington, DC? I think it's probably gonna be pretty hard to shop here. Okay, so to give you an idea of how difficult it is to shop here in DC, we have compiled another not so scientific <laughs> anecdote. We have gathered a list of five popular shopping centers here in DC. Okay. And we have determined how many of them sell women's clothes. And the number of places that sell women's clothes is is 261. Guess how many of those 261 stores sell clothes in a size 20, which is my size, mm -hmm. or above? I'm gonna go with four. The answer is actually 15. Well, that's, uh, that's still... 15 out of 261. As with all the other US stores, the store we are going to today is actually a resale shop. Okay, cool. We are going to be going to Curvy Girl Boutique nice. here in the DMV area. So obviously because it is a resale shop, I'm gonna try and see how much I can get in the resale shop before I have to supplement in nearby big box stores. As I say in every episode, it is important to note that if I were above a certain size, doing this show would be extremely difficult, if not impossible. So the fact that I'm even able to do this show is in itself a privilege. All right, you ready to go shopping? I am ready, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Yes, absolutely. I am Stephanie, the owner of Curvy Girl. I am Karina. I am the co-owner slash stylist. Tell me a little bit about your wonderful store. One of our missions is that regardless of your budget or your size, we want to be able to have you leaving our store feeling beautiful. So we do have boutique pieces and we also have things that are on consignment just for variety. Well, so today we are gonna try and find an outfit for a day activity and awesome. a night activity. Okay. As you can see, I do not have a coat and my legs are bare and it is 40 <laughs> degrees outside. And freezing. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to plan accordingly and not just go with the cutest thing. I also have to get something warm. I have been seeing some short dresses around here that I probably am going to try on anyway. So let's go try on some hey, clothes. Throw on some fishnets, baby. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, what do you think of this Tin Man costume? I think I'm about to be carrying it. <laughs> what I like about you being on the show is that you always carry Give everything. Me. Wait, oh, look, <laughs> it, help. You have to leave each other. <laughs> you can't be together, together anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I know I just talked about how I need to get things that are weather appropriate. That said, I'd like to pull something that also isn't weather appropriate. Ah. This feels like a Dijon mustard. This is deli sandwich chic. <laughs> All right, give me that mustard. Give me that Dijon. Give me that, give Dij me that Dijon, Dijon, girl. girl. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> All right, you gotta take this one. <laughs> <laughs> she jumped out at you. Oh. It's got like big bisexual energy right there. It does. I am a terminal overdresser. Mm -hmm. And so the idea of wearing something that is not 
extremely fancy is scary. Also, it's just gonna be so comfortable. I know, but I don't wanna just be comfortable. I wanna be sexy hot. <laughs> We're not gonna look at the moto jackets. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> Why can't we look you at have, the moto jackets? You have 75 moto jackets. You have too many. <laughs> I just wanna talk to them. How you doing, ladies? Kristen, I have too many clothes. Also, Kristen, I need eight more moto jackets. <gasps> Ooh. It's very DC. It's very like, ooh, hello, politician. Oh. All right, time to pull some dresses. Dresses. I like it. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. <laughs> I love Cheetos and tees. <laughs> ooh, I love the buttons. I like it. You know what would be good with this? What? A denim jacket. You <laughs> have so many <laughs> denim jackets. You got a lot of moto jackets. Actually, in the first episode, <laughs> the first look was with a denim jacket. The second one was with a moto jacket. <laughs> What if I got married to business? Yeah, why not? Okay. This is a 24, but I kind of want to try it on anyway. Ooh, it's a jumpsuit. Yeah, it is very bridal, but I don't care. It's okay. after Labor Day, Kristen. Depending on when you're born, it's always after Labor Day. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Ooh. Yeah, you like this. Like Sailor Moon. How is this like Sailor Moon? It's like a sailor outfit. <laughs> How is that? Just take it. Okay. I like it. What are you looking inside for, presents? Um, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> when you're gay, every shirt has presents. Also, in case any of you are wondering, this dress is a dress I tried on in the Seattle episode, and I bought it for me, which happens a lot in stores. I tend to buy too much. I really like the sparkles. Yeah. I like the colors too. We will consider her. Yeah. I also found this, Whoa. which is a bodysuit, which means it covers your crotch and your ass. What do you think about this? It kind of looks like it's a cookie monster. <laughs> I'm a cookie monster. It's cute. I think it's so cute though. It is really cute. I love this color. Honestly, I love sweaters. I love anything warm. Okay, that's true. That's why you're holding all the clothes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not a moto jacket or a denim jacket. I like it. It's a bomber jacket. Let me touch. You done touching it? No. I take. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's talk about pants. Pants. <laughs> a store that sells fabric for your legs. <laughs> what do you think about these velvet pants? I think they're cute. Ooh, there's a lot of like mustard accented things. This yeah. Is cool. Isn't this cute? This is really cute. It's super cute. Plus it's got a little racing stripe just in case I want to run to the bathroom <laughs> to take them off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like red pants because it's good camouflage. Yeah. It's funny to see you like in kind of enthusiastic about pants because that's unusual for you. Well, here's the thing. What happened was I grew up. <laughs> Ooh, leggings. So I feel like let's pull like a little basic legging okay. and like a little basic jean yes. and like a little basic jogger. It's not a motor jacket. We'll take it. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Peanut M&M's. Yeah. I think it's good for day or night. Yeah. Mostly because I have no sense of when it's appropriate to wear shiny things. That's because I'm basically a small woodland bird. It's shiny. Yeah. I like a good houndstooth. When I pulled the skirt, I was like, this is from Eloquy. I instantly knew from like the pattern and like kind of like the whole vibe. I was like, this is from the mothership of Eloquy. Oh, what about this though? Do so you see how warm it feels? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on board. You got me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's how you wear it. Just like that. Just like this. Just like that. That's how all the ladies of society Ooh, wear it. They're yeah. just like, hello. Upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> that matches the shirt we saw earlier. Yeah, I think it's all one situation. Do you want to see it? Yeah, Okay. I'd like to see it. Well, I'll take requests. <laughs> Are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah, yeah. Ready, 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 Let's go. Come on out, Kristen. Let's see the first look. Hi, I'm Glinda the Good Witch, and you're watching Disney Channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. It is a little summery, and we're heading into the winter months, but we also live in Los Angeles, so it doesn't matter. I don't know, I'm a fan. Do you like it? Is it comfortable? I really like it. It's a little short, but like, counterpoint, who cares? Yeah. Ooh, whoa, those are cool. I kind of feel like I'm about to like start my signature musical number. Yeah. Be like, oh, you think these pants are great? <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at these, Jennifer. Ooh. Okay, I still love this skirt. Is that pockets? No. Uh, I keep thinking they are pockets. I know. So like, no, I'm like, no, they're fool's pockets. One of these days, we're gonna find something with like pockets and it's gonna be awesome. Someday. Someday. When I run for president, my platform will be pockets on all ladies' garments. <laughs> so this is a little too small, and also I'm not hosting a rehearsal dinner. It, but I was literally about to say that! The one unfortunate thing about how this fits also, the pleat stitch, uh, really, uh, <laughs> slightly unfortunate. Just placing. Placing. Nipple City. It's just a stitch! She's gonna upstage the bride. <laughs> Hello. Ooh! Normally I don't accessorize, but I wanted you to see the potential of this dress. I do really like that necklace. I like it too. Yeah, it's, it's very much like chunky soup, but make it hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. What's up? Whoa! <laughs> 
Anyway, what do you think? <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> also, it has a hood. Little Jock Riding Hood. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hello. I love this. Really? Yeah, I love a good blazer. Also, like, I know this was just because the sleeves are too long, but this is really cute. It's like, not allowed in a public library? Allowed in a public library. You'd be surprised what they allow in public libraries. <laughs> It's very like, I was invited to go to Martha's Vineyard, but I forgot what time the party was. It's colorful, it's like candy striper, but like fired from that job. I feel like this is something that looks incredible on someone else. We're not buying this. Hold on, I can fix this. There it is. Yeah, like like if you fold it up a little bit more. Oh wow, that is really cute. Sometimes you gotta like be creative and like burp the burp, and then you come up with a good outfit. Yeah. I like this a lot. I really like the skirt. I think this it's very so flowy. Pretty. It definitely is like... That's the Instagram photo. Also, I've never seen a one shoulder off the shoulder sweater. Oh wait, that's really cute it's like, though. that's sweater and that's me. You it's could like, even do like a cool belt with this. Are you helping me style? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Hi. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a petting zoo. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't lend itself to like cool necklace. Now it does. Yeah, it does. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, how cool do you want it to be? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> wow, wow, we have so many options. <laughs> All right, we are all finished. We managed to find everything for every single outfit in this store. And plus, one of my looks is actually something I pulled off a mannequin that you styled. I did. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna go do our fun activities now. Bye. 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 Thank you. Enjoy these things. Thank you. We're about to get ready for our day activity. Are you excited to get a little bit of food? Yeah. Yeah, Kelly, it's <laughs> correct. Jen, get ready. <gasps> Jen's not getting ready. Come on. So we are at our day activity, which means it's time for Kristen to reveal her daytime look. Hello. Oh my goodness. I already know that you went with one of the things that I really liked and I'm really excited about it. You really love this hoodie dress. I love this hoodie dress. And so I was like, I don't know how I feel about the shape of the hoodie dress. So I layered the sweater on top of it. Yeah. As I said before, everything about this outfit came from Curvy Girl Boutique. That's why. We got the sweater, we got the dress, we got the little bag, we got the fishnets, we got the boots, all of it. I have this one little shoulder, I can air out my body if I need to. It's like a chimney. Yeah. It's almost a go. I didn't want to buy a coat, I so know. I didn't. I know. So are you ready for our day activity? Yeah, where are we? We are here at Half Smoke here in DC and we are gonna eat some meats. I know you love yes. eating meats. It's Say like no one more. of your top three favorite activities. Uh -huh. It's like sleeping, irritating me, and eating meat. Yep, we're doing two and three today. <laughs> I guess I will sleep later. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay. Let's go. All right, here's the menu. The inside it says don't grow up, it's a trap. I mean, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> I want her so much. We can. She says yes. Oh, it's hot. Okay, it maybe hot. she okay, said no. Put her back down. Okay. <laughs> the tater tots are out of control. Those are really good. All right, you ready to eat this little sauce? I'm ready. Oh my god. You're not ready. <laughs> oh my god. The bun is perfectly grilled. It is probably one of the most perfect sausages I've ever put in my mouth. I don't even care how you take that. We got shakes. So this is the method, and this is the Beyond Shake. It's so beautiful. I know, it's so beautiful. I'm really excited to destroy it with my face. Mm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's really good. I always love whenever food items encourage me to lick the outside, because then we're gonna see just how classy I can be. Pretty classy. <laughs> So we have moved to the photo booth. Half Smoke has a free photo booth, which we're gonna take full advantage of. Because we love to take pics of ourselves to remember how hot we were. After we ate those sausages. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now something silly. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute that is. That is cute. Time to go get ready for a night activity. Hell yeah. I'm in the kitchen because Jen has taken the couch. Huh? Time to do shots of me getting ready, but not enough shots for you to see what I'm wearing! So it's time for our night activity, and Kristen's gonna come out and reveal her night look. I always answer the call of duty! <laughs> Ooh! 
In the back of my mind, I knew you were gonna pick this skirt. Yep, this necklace bodysuit skirt combo I actually saw on a mannequin at the Curvy Girl Boutique. Then I paired it with this bag and this pair of shoes that also came from the Curvy Girl Boutique. Yeah, I love this. This is like very, very cute. It's like formal, but it's also a little playful. Thank you, I love like that you can see my little knees. It's like boop, boop. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm pumped. So we are gonna go have dinner at Red Hen Restaurant. Ooh, what kind of food is that? Italian. Ooh, just like us. Kind of. Yes. Yeah. yeah book and a bamboo. <laughs> All right, let's go eat. You're hungry. Okay. You're hungry. You're delirious. I don't have shoes on. We have some lovely dishes to try. This is an apple and cabbage slaw. How is it? It's really good. I also got the arancini, which is basically a little fried ball. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So arancini is basically just like fried ball of rice, basically. But they have some sort of mayonnaise situation with like a little bit of like basil in it. Oh, and it's like a good. little bit sweet and it's a little bit fried. And it's sort of like if somebody rolled up some French toast and went, there's balls of French toast. <laughs> this is a night look and this is nighttime food. You know what I mean, bro? When I spill sauce all over me, everyone will know how much I loved it. Welcome to this meeting of the pasta munchers. <laughs> What'd you get? I got squid ink pasta. I got rigatoni. Nice. That's very good. Can I try this? Yeah, let's trade. I like a good meat sauce though, because here's the thing. You can't go wrong with meat sauce, mm. unless it's feet sauce. Mm. Ew. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> we have a long flight tomorrow. We're very sleepy, but this was a delicious meal. And you're also a delicious meal. Ooh. Look at this outfit. Now it's time for me to go bed. I'm really hungry for sleep. Me too. It's like my eyes are just like, um, nom, 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 nom. That's my eyes eat. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> so we've had such a great time in DC. We were able to find everything at one store, which was amazing. That is amazing. Never happened before. Mm -hmm. Don't know if it'll happen again, but who knows? The world is a possibility oyster full of surprises. Oysters. Thank you so much to Sonder DC, Curvy Girl Boutique, Half Smoke, and Red Hen all for having us. We ate a lot of sausage. We did. This is our last American city for this season of Empty Suitcase because the last three episodes will be in Europe. Hope you brought your passport. I did. Good. I brought it. Okay. I'm excited. I'm gonna check your bag anyway. Okay, there's Cheetos in there. Ooh.